leads us, speaking of, speaking of military industrial complex, how it, you know, for a man who has the ability to skirt the law, have sex on a regular basis with 14 year old little girls, he's got 12 point whatever billion dollars, and that's with a B, uh, and then he winds up in a jail cell and he's unable to make it out of there alive, I don't see it. Yeah. Well, you know, the... I think he's alive. That's my point. Well, the Epstein case is, um, <laughs> is really interesting. And, and here's the big thing. Is you are not alone in your questioning the official narrative. And no. I think I think the big takeaway isn't whether or not he's alive, whether or not uh, how he died, if he did, and all of these things but rather the fact that people who are knee-jerk acceptors of the official narrative now, finally, yeah. have to question it. And, and, and it doesn't matter which way they might lean. I can't say what happened because, you know, you can't trust it. Okay. Well, let's, 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 let's talk about the Let's talk about the report that came out the day before. You had former uh, New Mexico Governor Richardson, uh, his being figured as, you know, involved in this. That he went Prince, to the island. Prince Andrew. And we know from, you know, various media reports, uh, Clinton, what, 20-some times? 27 he times. He flew on Epstein's plane, you know, I mean, where the hot honeys are. And, yeah, you know, it's because the food was so good, right? <laughs> Just saying <laughs> We just earlier talked about the reality of mankind and the nature of man. People with $12 billion in connections don't just wind up dead. That's not how it works. Yeah. Well, and that, that, and then, and, and conveniently liking so many things, the video is missing. That's he got taken off of Suicide Watch uh, when he was supposedly completely suicidal. And somehow then, he also managed to get the implements to do himself in. Um, so we have all sorts of things that have yet to be answered. And I've seen pictures going around saying it wasn't him and, oh, yeah. and everything else. You know, the one with the nose, his picture yes. turned, uh, turned, yeah. <laughs> turned on its side. One of these. <laughs> and I, I tell you, it just reminds me of a scene from The Godfather and Vito Corleone in the hospital. And all of a sudden, it's a ghost town. Nobody's around. And then the hitmen show up, you know. It just, this is New York City. Like, in the boroughs, right? You know? The reality is it's a world uh, ruled by force. This is one of the problems with the, the non-aggression type packs where we pr pretend if we ignore the, the potential for violence that it'll just not yeah. uh, get to us. Even if you could create a world with a magic wand where there was no violence, the first guy that started knocking stuff over, yeah. you can't just not you know, aggress. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, you know, uh, in the Mueller testimony, it was two weeks ago in in the House, uh, we found out that Mueller didn't hardly know what was going on in there. Oh, yeah. It was the 25 mm -hmm. Democrat FBI agents that were all in there that did everything, and Mueller hardly knew what was going on, yeah. and, and they were all very tight and close with the Clintons, right? Right. And you notice how they always, when they had uh, charges against somebody close to Trump in his campaign, they de they deferred those charges to the New York City the FBI. State, yeah, the, oh, okay. yeah, no, it's federal. Yeah, so the FBI in New York City, everything gets done over there because these guys want it done in New York City. They're in Washington, D.C., but let's do it all uh, in uh, New York. And so then they go to the... Well, that's also where they stuff. had the evidence because that's where he was, his office was. Uh, yeah, that's a valid point, but I would just as soon see Epstein, um, and again, when it's federal court, they can move that anywhere in the country they want. Oh, sure. You know, and so on any of them. And I would much rather see an Epstein in Omaha at a federal facility. Well, you I, know, because it just, I'm sorry. I, am I cynical? Absolutely. I'm well, cynical. the real thing is, yeah. the real thing is, again, what was he up for? What were the charges against him? Uh, and, and again, we come back to, they were going to be the, the trafficking and, and the being with the underage girls. 
Ooh. none of which are federal crimes. Those need to be prosecuted by the local state. Oh, David, you are getting enemies now. Well, the thing is that yeah, that's I, the entirety. I show me. If I, if somebody's going to gonna start ragging on me about that, show me in the Constitution where the federal government has the right to prosecute. But it's wrong, for David. Crime. It's okay because that's such a heinous crime. It's okay. It doesn't matter who prosecutes because it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and we we have two sovereigns uh, at least. Uh, yeah. Other people survey show me overreach. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, it, it was like you know when I get in trouble in school in second grade, yeah. and you oh yeah, and my goodness, you know, I, <sighs> and the teachers, you know, really tough on me, and and I'm just bawling. And she's, she's why well, wasn't that rough on you? I said I gotta go home. <laughs> my parents are gonna know. I got a death <laughs> march coming, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You talk about <laughs> double jeopardy. Uh, oh man, every kid knows what trouble jeopardy is.